Hey yo, my name is Nick. I'm a writer. I write on places like Medium, Quora, uh, my own blog, and I also have a website called Four Minute Books, which is about book summaries. And we have nearly 500 of them. I've been building the site for over three years, and now just started, you know, hiring people and uh, trying to build it bigger and further. And as part of that mission, we're using, and I have been using. Blinkist, which is a premium book summary service. And if you've come to find out more about it and want to know what it is, how it functions, what it looks like inside the app when you're a premium user and stuff like that, you've come to the right place. Now, in this sort of uh, exploration of the whole system of, of Blinkist, how it works, I'm going to use the web app. Um, we'll also publish a extensive sort of written review of this walkthrough on our website, 4minutebooks.com. And we'll also have a review of the app there. And I'm also making a video about the app and how the app specifically on your phone feels like, what that is like. Uh, but this one here is about using the Blinkist web app on your laptop or, or desktop PC. So um, I just want to walk you through it, show you all the main features, what it's like, just the functionality, what you can get, uh, some of my thoughts along the way. And that's pretty much it. That's what we're here for. So um, let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. If you go to Blinkist.com, this is what you will see. Fit reading into your life or, or a different version of this. But basically, it's about fitting reading into your life. You can start a free trial instantly or watch a short video that explains the whole thing, how it works. You can choose between uh, German and English because it's a German startup. They're from Berlin. Um, but then you get a basic overview that they have over 3,000 titles now, uh, that each summary takes about 15 minutes on average to read, and they have over 9 million users, which is staggering. Uh, it's a simple and clear subscription service. You don't need to put in a credit card. You don't need to make a commitment or anything. You just start a free trial. You get a one day free trial uh, of the full service. And if you like it, you can decide to pay and pay 80 euros or US dollars per year, roughly. And uh, then you can get full access to the app, audio features and so on. And if not, after one day, your free trial expires and it converts to a free account with which you can still read one set of blinks every day. So that set keeps changing, but you will always be able to read one set of blinks each day and that keeps updating. So you'll always ha have one free summary per day that you can read. Now, uh, if you get an account, if you do decide to get an account, get a premium and um, start rolling with it, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through my own account, show you what it looks like, what all the different options and functions are, and just give you a little tour basically of the whole thing. So your library is where all the magic happens, so to speak. This is the this is your home base, if you will. Um, and the way it looks like is that it's simply a list of all the titles you've added uh, with these sort of neat little preview pictures where you have the author, the title, the subtitle of the book, how long it takes to read. And lately, you also have some data, some indicators as to how many reads this book has gotten, uh, the summary, the summary of this book has gotten. And this is really helpful when picking titles because you might want to stick to the more popular ones at first and start with those and then work your way into more niche books. Or if you're interested in niche books, you know, start, start, start there, but don't be surprised if they have less reads. Of course, you can also remove these from the library, buy the book, uh, which will send you, I believe, to Amazon and send to Kindle. This is also a premium feature. We'll talk about that more later. But this is the basic, uh, the basic setup of what it looks like. Now, in the beginning, yours is going to be empty, right? So in the finished section, obviously, you have the links that you finished. And here you have all the other ones. But in the beginning, this is going to be empty. So how does it even work? How do you even, how do you even uh, add summaries, right? Well, it all starts with discovering. And when you do discover, you have this tab up here that says discover. You can, of course, search for directly for a title or an author. But when you hit this discover button, you have different options of how you discover the books on the platform, right? So you have these all these different categories, obviously, which you can go into. You can also start with the recently added ones or just go to popular. And um, if you start with the popular section, let's do that. Then you've got a list of some of the latest titles that are the most popular um, right now. 
and you can just start adding. And these are random, they're assorted from all the different categories, so they're not specific to any topic. So this is a great thing to do when you initially start with the app, because you can just browse, you'll know you'll get stuff that's popular, uh, you'll get some handpicked favorites from the team, and so on and so forth. So this is really, really useful in, in, in that regard. But you, you'll probably just do this at the, the first time around. So when you're just starting out, you can you know browse here, add some books, get something going, and then later you'll probably be more specific in your search for different titles. Now, if you hit a category like entrepreneurship and small business as I did here, then you'll get obviously only books from that category uh, and you'll get the trending links. So what's trending right now? So for example, The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, that's a hugely popular startup book. It's, it's a classic almost. And that's gonna be in trending a lot of the time. But this is cool because then you get from your specific topic, you will get titles that are just added, titles that are popular, types that have good audio blinks specifically for them. And you can also just hit see all the blinks on entrepreneurship and business and you will get this alphabetic list, which is really, really useful if you're trying to really get into the nitty gritty of one category, okay? The third option, which is probably the one you'll use the most after you've gotten a feel for the app, is the recently added section. Because at some point, you know, you've scoured the whole library, you've read everything in every category that you wanna that you wanted to read. So you probably just go to recently added, which again, so you can see it up top here. And then you just browse through the last, let's say, six or eight or nine titles that were added and you just look at those and see, okay, what's been added this week? And you just add the ones to your library that you want to read. Now, if you want to read a book, you simply hit this add to library button and this is the same across all these uh, discovery sections and then it's gonna be added into your library, obviously, right? So uh, if you update your library, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have this book added right here. Okay, so let's take a look. If I go to this book here, right? I open it in this tab. If I hit this button and I wanna start reading the summary, what does that look like? Well, in the browser, this is what it looks like, okay? It always starts with what's in it for me. It's sort of an intro that's basically a cl helping clarification of who this book is actually for. And this is really cool because then by, that by the time you've read this, you really know what you're getting into and you'll have a very good idea of whether it's worth it for you to spend, you know, the next, let's say 15 minutes uh, reading all these blinks, reading through all of them and getting into the details of the book. So uh, that's basically what it is. And when you decide to start, you will just uh, hit this little arrow right here, which you can use to navigate through the links. And then you will uh, get to the first page. Uh, in this case, it's about companies of one. So, so solo companies and re they reject the philosophy of seeking growth for the sake of growth, adopting a more holistic view of life. So this is sort of the key takeaway. This is the main message of this page. And then they're gonna use the, the, the 200, 300 words, however many there are here, they're gonna use this to give this lesson more context, right? To fill in the backdrop of it. Um, yeah, so, and, and that's very, that's the core of the app, okay? So that's the, the core of what it's about, reading through these blinks, going from page to page, the uh, table of contents is gonna mark which ones you already went through, which ones you haven't done, which is really useful. And you can also use this as sort of a, yeah, table of contents to just jump around. Um, what you can also do is uh, adjust the size of the font here if you have problems, but in most browsers, as in Chrome, for example, you can also just zoom in with your trackpad or your mouse, okay? Uh, another cool thing that they have, which they didn't have in the beginning, by the way, is that the audio blinks, it's gonna show up as an audio player at the bottom of your browser. Now, if you press start, and in this case, Paul Jarvis here, author of Company of One, something really cool happens, you get a message from the author. That's not the case for every set of blinks, obviously, but in this case, I think it's really, really cool. And then they get into it, which is basically just a person, a real human being, not, not a robot, <laughs> reading the blinks for you. And uh, what happens is that when you reach the end of this first blink, it's automatically gonna jump to the next one. So if you want to listen to a blink while you do something else, or, or, and you're on your laptop or, or PC, and you have some kind of wireless phones for headphones connected, something like Bluetooth headphones, Apple AirPods, you know, you can literally just hit the play button here once and then it'll play the whole set of blinks all the way through. Let me show you. And these blinks are for you. Blink number one. See? Company. It jumped. 
Okay, so that's really, really cool. Uh, you can just play the full audio as you wish in the browser, keep your headphones on, go do something else, whatever, and keep listening there. This is something that used to be exclusive to the app, but now they've added it here, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so that's the basis uh, of it. And by the time you get to the last blink, which is sort of a recap, final summary, let's go here. And uh, this last thing, it's two to three sentences that recaps the whole overall message of the book. It has some actionable advice. And of course, you know, you can give feedback and there's a tip of what to read next. Okay. But then you can mark the whole summary as done when you're done. And it's going to be added to the finished section in your library. So you see now this book doesn't show up here anymore under currently reading, but it shows up under finished. And of course, I can read it again anytime I want to. Okay. So really, really neat, super simple to use, right? So you could just have save your library tab as a bookmark, hit open in the morning and start reading and read for five to 10, 15 minutes. And you would have the insights of a whole book basically, right? Really, really cool. Now we talked about how to discover books and how to use the basic functions of the app. Okay. So now let's get into some more advanced functions and other settings and what else is going on here. Okay. Well, the first thing is that you have your own highlights section, okay? Because what you can do in any set of blinks is you can highlight sections you like and you want to save and remember, right? So you literally mark it with your cursor as you would on anywhere else. You can share these to Facebook or Twitter, but you can also just hit highlight. And then this is going to be marked in yellow. And the next time you go back to the summary, you're, it's also going to be marked in yellow. Very neat, very, very useful. But besides that, you don't have these highlights just in the book, you also have them as a collection. And this is, I think this is really cool. It's a, it's a visual collection of all the highlights you save from all the books. And this can be sorted by books or by date. So you can, you can pick what assortment you want. And it's going to be by the most recent highlights that you did, or again, by the book titles. And what you can do is with each individual highlight, you can share it via email, Twitter or Facebook. So sometimes, you know, you might just want to browse through your highlights and see if there's something else that jumps at you or something that, you know, you, you want to remember, or if there's uh, you, you skip to a certain book and go back through, not even the blinks, but just your highlights and, and go like, hmm, okay, what did I save here? What do I want to remember here? And then you're like, oh, wow, actually, this is pretty interesting. This is good. Um, I'm happy that I scrolled through here because this is just a very quick way to catch up on basically your notes. Okay. So nice little, nice little add on feature that they added here. One other thing that they have that's just really cool is the wish list. Okay. If you hit the U button where your account is and you go to wish list, this is basically which books do people most want them to add next. Okay. And this is, it works a bit like Reddit. You can upvote things. You can search for specific titles and see how high they're ranked up the list. But, uh, this is the basis of what it looks like. And for example, right now, men are from Mars, women, women are from Venus is the top rated one. And if I want to add to that, I can tap this little button here and I can add my vote and say, yes, I want this too. And then the team is going to know that they should prioritize these books. So if there's a, ever a book that's not on Blinkist yet and you want it, then just add it here and, you know, maybe get some friends to upvote it, uh, upvote it. And then soon within a couple of weeks or so, uh, you should hopefully see something from the Blinkist team, see them add it in there. Now let's dig a little bit into the settings. Okay. Very, very basic, uh, settings. Obviously you can delete your account. You have your, uh, Facebook account, email, whatnot, and so on, but you also have content settings. Okay. You can, uh, show you, you can have the blinks be shown in English or German, uh, depending on which language you prefer. I guess for you, that's going to be English, uh, as it is for me, despite I'm German, you can also, um, receive notifications. They have the blinkest minute, which is a cool daily email with one set of blinks, which is the free set, I believe that they sent to you. And then you can just start reading that set of links right away. It's sort of a daily email reminder to actually use the app and read something, which is kind of useful, but you can toggle that on and off as you wish. And then you also have the connected services. And this is a really cool, both are really cool, actually premium features. So one is that you can export all your highlights to um, Evernote. So if you use Evernote, which I do, and I, I do this occasionally, I don't do it all the time, but if you do it, if you connect it once, it's going to sync all your highlights and you're going to be good. 
So uh, what you can do here is that you create an Evernote notebook and it's going to create different notes for all the different highlights that you do which is neat because it makes them searchable. In Evernote, you can search for everything. You can search for tags, for phrases, for bits of the text. And so if you sync all your highlights to your Evernote and you have one notebook where you add them all, that means that you can now basically search through all your highlights that you ever did on Blinkist, which is very useful because you might remember that you highlighted something about a certain, with a certain name in it or a certain person or a certain story. And now you can just search for the tags or some of the words that you might remember from this and actually find it. And you don't have to go into the blinks and comb through all the blinks to actually find that. The other thing you can do is you can connect your Kindle and you can uh, send summaries to your Kindle. This is what you saw in the beginning in the library where you have these buttons here where you can do send to Kindle and you can send a Kindle readable version basically to on your Kindle, keep it there and read it offline. So you can take it somewhere, you know, if you go hiking in the mountains or whatever, you'll have no internet access. You can just uh, pick your Kindle, pick up your Kindle, send some summaries there keep them on there and read those as you, you know, spend your vacation internet free. Okay. Which is rare these days, but people still do it, believe it or not. Okay. And finally, the last thing I want to show you is really basic. It's also under this U tab here. So we just covered settings. We had the wish list. It's invite friends. And if you go here, what you get is a referral link. And if you share this link, uh, I forget the exact dynamics of it, but I think the way it works is that what you get is you get free days. Okay. So for every person you refer, I think more free days get added to your account. So if you start with the one day free trial and you share your uh, friend link, then you can refer more of your friends. And uh, in the beginning, I remember for the first year or so, I just kept referring people to it. And it was really, really useful because it kept extending my premium subscription. So you either have to just buy it once or even not at all. You just refer people and you keep your buffer of days in there that way. So if you can't afford a subscription in the beginning, this is kind of, this is kind of neat way, uh, a neat way to do it. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but this is, I believe how it works. And you can literally just click this button, copy the link and then post it anywhere. Facebook, Twitter, you can send it to your friends via WhatsApp, email, whatever. Okay. So, that's really it. That's the basics of Blinkist. So this is how Blinkist works, how it looks in your browser, how the web app works. Um, this is what it's about. It's a premium book summary service. They have over 3000 titles. They have text, they have audio. You get each book in 15 minutes. You have the key takeaways and you can consume the books pretty quickly and easily. And the whole thing costs $80 or euros per year. If you, if you pay on an annual basis, and so I think it's just a great, great tool. I've been using it in my own life for a long time. Again, four or five years now. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I keep going back to it and I hope you will give it a chance as well. So that's Blinkist in a nutshell. That, those are all the main features. Um, again, looking at it from a web app, a desktop PC sort of perspective. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful for you to sort of get this behind the scenes uh, look at it. And I hope you'll give it a try. If you want to do that, there is an affiliate link in the description below, which you can use to get 20% off when you sign up for the premium. There's also a one day free trial, which you can sign up for. Um, and there is also going to be uh, links to the review on our website in the written format and the review of the app and the video of that. So if you feel like, eh, I just need some more information or I want to know more about it, then you can use those. And of course, at 4minutebooks.com, you can also just read our free summaries and get a feel for what you can even create when you use something like Blinkist. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you somewhere around the web, hopefully very soon.